The Kelso School District tonight morning, a fourth grade teacher, Karen James, died Monday, just days after telling parents that she had COVID-19. With this grief also comes concern about how the school handled notifying parents about all this. Our Lindsay Nadrich live in Cowlitz County now outside Barnes Elementary, and that's where Miss James taught. Lindsay? Yeah, the sign outside the school here says RIP Miss James, once a bear, always a bear. It's clear she was a beloved member of the school. My daughter really liked being in her class, said she was an awesome teacher, super friendly. Parents say they received a message from Karen James last Thursday saying she tested positive for COVID and would be out for a few days. Then on Monday, she died. In a statement, her family wrote, she brought great joy and showed love and kindness generously to those she knew well and those she met along the way. Her smile and laughter will be cherished, and the absence of her presence will continue to be felt deeply because she loved deeply. Several parents say the school notified them of her death, but not of the COVID case in the classroom. Um, but these are scary times, and I just think withholding information right now is not appropriate. Amanda and Curtis Hart's daughter was in James's class when they called the school to get more information. They say they were told they weren't notified because they didn't need to know. Super angry. Yeah. Um, I'm appalled. I mean, just reaching out to the district, I was hoping to just grasp a better understanding of um, the metrics themselves and when I would be notified as a parent what you know, situation or circumstances would warrant notifying parents in the classroom. The Cowlitz County Health Department says schools have some flexibility, but are only required to notify students and staff determined to be close contacts under state and CDC guidelines. Um, if it is an adult staff member, um, you know, that staff member will uh, talk with their kind of COVID lead in that school and determine, you know, were there any students that met that close contact definition where they were within six feet of one another for over a 15 minute period of time while that person was contagious. Well, the district says they were following state guidelines. Several parents, though, tell me they think the entire classroom should have been notified so parents can decide what steps to take. Uh, Amanda and Curtis have pulled all three of their kids out of the district until that policy changes. Reporting live in Kelso, I'm Lindsay Natterich, Coin 6 News. And